Howdy folks, welcome to another episode of Vern's Misadventures. So in this one, while I'm not going to be telling you where you can get your vintage Mac OS images from, I will be showing you how I figured out a way to take a computer that has no provision for an optical drive and create some new install CDs for the little Blueberry iBook G3 clamshell that we're working on here. And this will be in preparation for a hard drive and memory upgrade that is yet to come. So, without further ado, let's do this. thought about maybe working on this thing tonight. I gotta haul out all the tools and then I'm gonna have to put all that crap away before I can go to bed. I, I don't really feel like it tonight. I do have other projects we could work on. We do have the iBook project that we have to work on. And we have to create some discs for the iBook project. In order to do that, well we're gonna need an optical drive. And well things being the way things are, we don't have one of those anymore. But I do have a plan. So I've got this 750 watt power supply here, which is way overkill for what we're going to do, but that's okay. And so we're going to use that power supply. If you look here, this is the ATX connector and I have a paper clip going from this pin to the ground wire right and that basically is the switch now all these wires are black so what I had to do is I remembered it's the green wire and either of the adjacent ground wires will work when you're bridging this to turn on a power supply without a motherboard so I got another power supply, an older one, one of the cheapies with all the multicolored wires and non-modular and all that. And I determined which terminals here needed to be bridged. And um, the green wire was one of these two on that power supply. So I just bridged those same two on this one and tried it and it does turn on. So we have power. And we have a SATA cable, a SATA power cable. So that just leaves the next part in the chain here. So then we will hook this up like so. So then we have power going to a DVD. This is a, my, actually my Blu-ray player recorder. And what we're going to need to do here is we're going to have to take this side panel off of the tower so that we can have access to the SATA ports. So the next thing we gotta do is just plug in this, uh, put that in over here. Cool. And so, put this back on. There we go. All right, so, with all that, we should have what we need to make a functioning deal here. So, let's go ahead and put power to it before we start the computer. So we turn on the power supply. You can see the fan moving, so that's powered up. Let's see, this should work. It does. Now we got to see if we can boot up the computer into Mac OS. Get the other keyboard here with the touch pads. Let's take up desk space. We'll go ahead and select this one, the three. Work our way over here. Oops. Catalina, that's what we want. So far, so good. Let's 
So let's just see real quick if you can actually select that. Stacks, click the burn disk image to disk. Here we go. So we click burn. Of course, we don't know if it's going to be bootable yet, but we'll try it. Let's see here. Seagate, Apple Folder, Apple G3, it's Tiger. So hopefully this will work better. I, I bought, I guess foolishly, a Toast Burn, I guess, thinking that's what I needed to do the toast images. Okay, now it's going to verify. CD2. Oh, it's done. It's spit it out. Everything. Awesome. And this one can go in here. We're actually going to use that. We're going to test that here in a minute. But while we do that, we can be doing another one. Where will be disk two. If this does one doesn't work, then we won't bother to let's see here. Let's see what we get with the disk utility. We got this Mac OS install disk two. Right click image from this. Here we go. And we'll put that on the desktop and save it. So what we want to do is create an image first, and then we'll burn the image to the disk. I think that's going to work better than to try to just copy whatever that was. And it doesn't take but a minute. Operation success done. Alright, well that was easy now. Close that again. And we take this one here, the image, and we burn that to the disk. Burn. Okay, so while that's doing its thing, we can actually see. <laughs> Did this ever finish? Did it ever finish? No, it didn't. So let's just cancel it. Screw it. We can do with the Hackintosh in seconds what this thing couldn't do in a day and a half. Dismount all this stuff. I don't think this is mounted. It's just a blank CD. Just find the button. There it goes. Quick disk utility. Quit. Quit that kind. <laughs> yeah, let's get this one out of there. Uh, like I say, this should be just a blank. Should be a good one. Let's do it. I didn't mess it up. Take this. This is our disk one. Pull this out of there. Oh, we gotta do all this stuff. Just move them. Let's see. No name. All right, well, let's just shut it down. We seem to have crashed the computer. That's mad. <laughs> let's shut it down. in here. This should be our, our disk image. Put that in there. It's just not wanting to cooperate. We done pissed it off big time. So let's pull this flash drive out of there so we don't have any confusion there. So supposedly if you turn it on and hold C, it'll root to the CD. Let's see if that's the case.
Sounds good. He's a spinning. I'm gonna try letting go of the C button, see if that happens. It seems to be loading. It's not doing anything fast. <laughs> baby, baby works on her own schedule. Oh, cool. Yeah, man. So, okay, this does work. That's what we did. That's what we wanted to know. We're not ready to install just yet. But now we can put the new hard drive in the computer and have some reasonable expectation that we'll be able to put an operating system back on it. So now that we've learned how to create disk images from these toast files, the thing to do now is to create bootable images from all the toast files. Then we can proceed with the upgrades, which include, of course, 512 megabytes of memory and the SSD. So let's see here. Let's see if we can multitask. I think we can. Click this one. Oh, that's done. Okay. Awesome. So we can get our disk back. We'll just let it boot into the uh, OS here. Let's see. So we need need a blank one. Let's see. Over here, we were gonna. Oh, we were going to use the, uh, yeah, we got to use Disk Utilities. So we take the Disk Utilities, we ignore. We go to, let's see here, and that would be, there we go. So that leaves us this one. Should be disk three, and we will right-click image from this and save it on the desktop. And that goes pretty quickly. So that's done. Then we can take disk three. This is our image. And we can burn that to disk. And we'll burn. Awesome. So while that's doing its thing, we can dismount this. get back in here back back out of there and we go to t CD4 right from there and close this we can select that image from that see That's done. Alrighty. Yeah, with that done, we can eject that. Move our disk utility over there, maybe. And stack everything up like that. So, back over here on the uh, iBook, what we can do here is select this not open it but select it and then we'll just use the shortcut which is command E and that takes care of that and spits it right out and we can put that in the jacket envelope whatever you want to call it 
Yeah. All right. So we got this one and two ready. This three is being burned. This four is ready. It's out disc number three. get this cord going here and we will burn image to disc So there's disc four ready. Well, alrighty then. We got our media created. We have a way to reinstall an operating system on this thing. So now we can go ahead and do the upgrade. And we will do that in the next installment. I'm sorry to do this and split it up, but this video took some time. And I found very little coverage when I was searching for how to do this on how to make actual images out of toast files so I thought maybe the video would be helpful to somebody and I hope that to be the case so I would like to invite you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already if you've already subscribed stay away from that subscribe button <laughs> anyway make sure you click that notification button so you'll be notified when I upload the next installment or my next misadventure at any rate I want to thank you all for watching, and until then, y'all take care.